Well, Mason, everything is pretty much cut and dry. I see you present this to your siblings, and hopefully they'll take the business with one hand and give you the money in the other. <sighs> well, honestly speaking, this will be all one. So hopefully they don't look a gift horse in the mouth. You know, hopefully they won't be stubborn, but my instincts tell me that they're going to try to find a way to make it very difficult. But my instincts have been 100% wrong with mm, What do you mean by that? Mason, I have to be quite honest with you. When I attempted to kiss you, I had no idea that I was going to be rejected. <sighs> Sounds a bit cocky and arrogant, you ask me. No, not at all. I thought we had a mutual attraction, which made me make the first move to confirm, but I was wrong. Lance. Honestly, since we've met, you've been very direct and blunt with me, as I have been with you. So I will continue to do the same. Look. I... I was... I don't know. Attractive. I mean, I am attractive. I find you attractive. Your intelligence, your work ethic, just, I don't know, I can't put it in words. Doesn't sound hard to explain. But I just so happen to be in a relationship. And Lord knows I have a very shaky past when it comes to relationships. But I feel like the person that I'm with deserves to get the best parts of me. I mean, I respect that. I'd be dead wrong if I crossed the line and did anything with you or anybody else for that matter. No. Wow. It's just so easy and understanding to talk to. You. I know. <laughs> Look, I gotta get going. I'm gonna get these reviewed and I'll send them right back over to you today. I should walk you out. So, what was so important that you had to come to my home? Um, just to tell you that I'm going to step down to see you. Oh, well, that was fast. No one's chasing me away. I just feel like, you know, you and Fallon are more suitable for Davenport. Besides, I want to put all of my efforts into Davenport Beauty, something that I have to stay in control of. It. And why do I need to know this? I just feel like you should be the first to know. Oh, well, where are my manners? Thank you. <laughs> Is it going to kill you to be civil for once? I am. What are you expecting me to fall and bow over myself because you're stepping down to see you? I don't care. It doesn't mean anything to me. Oh, but it will. I also decided that I want to sell the family all of my shares. You guys have 30 days to make the transaction. And if you don't, I'll just get outside investors. So let me get this straight. You are divesting from the entire company. Yeah. Investments, subsidiary assets, all of it. Yep. All of it. I want nothing to do with it or you. And because you want to cash out, now the company has to buy back your shares at this inflated rate, correct? Gotcha. Now me and Fallon have to get up all this capital up. Right. Stellar moves. I mean, look, it's nothing personal. It's just strictly business. I guess I'm taking the page out of my father's book. <laughs> Go figure. Um, and you're just going to take the money and put it right back into your startup, huh? My company, yeah. Yeah, a company that wouldn't have any interest in it if the Davenport name wasn't attached to it. For legal reasons, I mean, I am the rightful heir. But besides, the Davenport name means more to you than it will ever mean to me. Yeah, but you're taking it to use it because it'll get more eyes on you. So, bro, I don't want to go back and forth with you, huh? Listen, I just came here to tell you so that you would know first. Because you're the lesser of the two evils when it comes to Davenport. Oh, so you're putting me in the middle of you and Fallon's case, Wilders. I really don't need it. Her and I are in a good space, okay? So if she wants to see your position, she can have it. Because I'm not coming back to work at the company. Mm, actually, I kind of think Raven should have it. A pregnant woman who just told me that she was lightening her workload. Oh, uh, yeah, you're a wise man. <laughs> I get a compliment. <sighs> so, when are you talking about? Soon. Very soon. But I want to talk to Raven first. Um, to see where our head's at. Maybe this is something that she wants to do, maybe not. I don't know. She'll accept. You know, I feel like a small weight's been lifted up off my shoulders. Uh, the burden of being free and away from you people. To have control of my life. I know the feeling. It's like having a freedom that you can just do whatever you want. Forget it. Hmm. Well, finally something that we can agree upon. Uh, let's not stretch it. <laughs> you know what? You're right. So, um, good luck on your company. Wow. You actually sound like you mean that. <laughs> good luck getting that money up. 
You got 30 days. And Vicky's still giving me shit about not finding Ronnie. What else is new? How do you think I should handle it? Tell the truth. Ronnie's trail is run cold. I mean, she'll pop up eventually. She always does. But it's not our problem to avenge Vicky's losses. Me and you are out of it. Maybe I'll just make something up to buy some time. What did you want to talk to me about? Remember I told you that I decided to step down as CEO of Davenport? Yeah. Well, I also decided that I wanted to only solely focus on my beauty line. How do you feel about that? I mean, I'm still shocked. I knew you weren't going to be at Davenport for long, but surely not this fucking quick. Yeah. Is somebody giving you problems? Are you kidding me? And if they were, I could definitely handle myself. Honestly, I don't know. I'm just not happy there. And I finally have enough money to forge my own dreams. So I had Lance, my lawyer, draw up the paperwork. I even told Jabril that they got 30 days to buy my shares. I don't want to sell it to outside investors. Go with outside investors. You'll get more money. True. But I still want to give them a chance. That's awfully big of you. I mean, they barely wanted you there in the first place. Please, they're just jealous of me. They're jealous because they had to claw their way to get what I got for just existing. I mean, I'm not a day trader, but I was checking out the stock market the other day. Okay. Davenport industry is up 300 per share. That's so random. Why do you even know that? And Vicky's trying to find new ways to clean the family money. I guess cryptocurrency is the route. Yikes. Please don't get involved with that. I'm not. Vicky is on her own. Good. Good to know. I mean... We're in a great place in our lives. We've overcome every obstacle and hurdle that's been thrown our way. We've overcome it. Together. Yeah. Um, before we move forward, I kind of have to tell you something. Well, about what happened with someone the other night. Well, something. And I really regret it. Are you about to say fuck someone? Don't be stupid. Hell no. But somebody almost kissed me. What do you mean, almost? They kind of linked in and then I just stopped it. Who? Doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Who? It doesn't matter. Mason? It wasn't that deep. It doesn't matter. Let it go. Who was it? Just tell me. It's not that big of a deal. All right. Lance. Your lawyer? Yeah. Tell me you fired him. No. No? No! He's a good lawyer! You can find another lawyer. That is too extreme. I'm not finding another lawyer. No, he's got to get out of here. Fired! I don't care what you say. First of Fired. all, you need to calm down. He made a mistake. A simple mistake. He knows I have a boyfriend. That's the end. It'll never happen again. Besides! You're not the one that's killing you or something. I believe you. You're a handsome man. Handsome rich man. Tell me more. It's just up to you to make sure you're shutting that shit down. You have nothing to worry about. We are in this together. Until the wheels fall off and our hair turn gray. Gray? Mm, I'm coloring mine. I'd still hit it. Okay, so I'm back. Okay. I see you made a decision. Yes, I have made a decision that I will accept the position on a few conditions. Okay, what's these conditions? Okay, um, so for the first one, I need to work remotely as much as possible, okay? I cannot be holed up in some office. I need to work and multitask at my leisure. Okay, I get that. Okay, um, number two is no drama, okay? I don't want to be involved in any family drama as a result of this venture, especially between you and Jabril. Okay, I understand. Okay, um, the last thing is that it's very important for us to maintain a level of transparency and respect this whole time for this to work. Okay. Anything else? No. The 
We're in business. Okay, let's do it. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. I knew she would be perfect for this job, and I'm so glad that you came in and was not afraid to ask for what you wanted. No. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so I need to get started as soon as possible. So I need you to just forward me all of the team emails and info. And... Yeah. Excuse me. One second. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Send them up. My attorney's here. Oh. Okay. That's great. Um. So about the team. Um. I'm thinking I want to meet with them as early as tomorrow. That's fine. Maybe. Am I interrupting something? Lance. No. Oh my, oh my god. god, Laura. Hi! How's it been? Really good. Oh my good god. To see you. It's been so long. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you two know each other? Yeah, I told you the Bowels and Davenport's go back a long way, right? Yeah, we've known each other since we're kids. Yeah. Oh. Is your mother still making pies? What do you think? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> pies? What are you talking about? Yeah, our mothers used to enter this local pie contest like every year. Oh, what kind of pie was this? Oh, there's a new one every year. Yeah. Um, let's see, there was the key lime, yep. the sweet potato, the blueberry. <gasps> the blueberry. Yes, I yes. can smell, literally still smell your mother's apple pie like right now. I'm just saying, that's why she won every year. <laughs> Look at you, talking <laughs> like a true Davenport, competitive in every uh, way. I mean, well, I'm glad to see that you guys are acquainted because in the beginning, you guys are going to be working with each other very closely. Oh my God, that's amazing. Congratulations. So like, Allura would be a great asset to the company for sure. <sighs> yes, she is. Thank and guess you. what, guys? We have a lot of work ahead of us, but we're going to get it done. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, I cannot wait to get started. Yeah, okay, look, um, I'm going to leave you guys and um, go prepare. Lance, yeah. I will forward you all my info so we can get started like tomorrow. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 Love you both. Love you too. Look at you. I'm so proud of you. Laying all the groundwork and so make sure that the operations is very lucrative. I can't believe all this is happening. Good job. Yeah, from God's ears to your lips. Yeah, so he lives in Toronto. Mm. I know. Um, but that's why it's really helpful that I work remote, so I can just go see him whenever I want. Yeah, I know what that means to want to work remote. You want to do with me and my boyfriend. I've been kind of remote, but I don't want to get into that. That's another story for another day. Hmm. Um. So anyway, I was talking to the marketing team, and so they, uh, they have you talked to Jabro yet? No, um, not yet. But but I will. I definitely will. Look, can you just tell me what got so bad between you guys? Oh, God. Where do I even begin? I honestly wish it never happened. Me too. I think everything would be so much easier if you guys got along. Agreed. I admit, I miss Brandon. I hate that our friendship has such a huge rift in between it. And Kiko moved to California. So, literally, my social circle decided to stop. Mm. All I do is work, come home. Have my boyfriend and a bottle of bourbon. I guess it's safe to say I became an old fart. <laughs> no, um, I would say that since we're family, it might be a little easier to build a friendship together if you're willing. Oh, I would like that. Good, me too. And look, I'm really not going to get involved between you and Jabril, like I said. Perfect. But I do believe that one day there can be an amicable solution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Laura, you're such a saint. I wish I had those characteristics. All right, all right, fine. Let's get back to this meeting. Yes. So this one fool that you hired tried to tell me that I didn't know what I was talking about with the... Uh, uh, JJ, come here for a minute. What's up? Um, JJ, this is Alora. Alora, this is JJ. Hi, JJ. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Another cousin, I see. Yes, we are second cousins, in fact. Well, I'm gonna head upstairs. All right. Well, I'll uh, order some food later. Cool. Nice. Meeting. Great chatting with you. Hi. Teenagers. Anyway, now that we got that out of the way, what is it that you need to talk to me about? Yeah, that. Um. Okay. Look, I just wanted to talk to you about it before anybody else came to you first. Okay. Oh, well, this sounds serious. All right, lay it on me. I have decided to accept a job offer at Mason's New Company. You cannot be serious. Look, I know you don't like it. Um, you have no idea what that man is capable of. Uh, yeah, I know you two have a problem. <sighs> That's putting it mildly. Look, I need this opportunity, okay? <laughs> at his fledgling company. That's not fair. He has had successful businesses his uh, entire career, Jabril. And none of them will be at the magnitude of Davenport Industries. Look, he is using our name to sell makeup. Which beauty is a very viable commodity these days, Jabril. Listen to me. You don't have to like this. You just have to accept it. I'm doing it. 
you know what? You're right. It is your decision, and I have no choice but to accept it. Yes. Thank you. All I need is your support. Well, I really just think you're wasting your time and talent, but if this is what you want... Yes, this is exactly what I want. This is what I want. Thank you. All right, then. I have no choice but to give you my support. Thank you. I will take it. That is all I ever need from you. I love you very much. Um, Also, just so you know, the first quarter projections are looking mighty fine, thanks to your girl, so... Oh, well, he chose wisely. No surprise there. Yeah, I was about saying, hello, that would work. Uh, I gotta do a lot of work, though, so I'm just gonna stay here and hang out for a while, if that's cool. Alright, let me go check and see what he wants to be. Yeah, let's work on that attitude a little bit, maybe, together. Uh, see my issue. Love you, cousin! Uh-huh. JJ! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. It's okay, I just didn't hear you, like, at all. Are you some kind of ninja and I didn't know? No, I just moved fast. Clearly. So... Are you leaving? Um, no. Why? What's up, dear? I was just wondering if you had a second. Uh, yeah, sure. What's going on? What's on your mind? Well, I... Not gonna lie, I googled you when I went upstairs. <laughs> Alright, that's hilarious. And, uh, what did you find out, Google? Serious? I went on there and I searched, and it said that you went to Northwestern University, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. that you were adopted. Is that true? Yes, I I was adopted when I was a baby. Is that all? Not quite. So I read that you ran an important marketing department in Davenport Industries, and you even had a successful event planning business. You were the most highly sought after marketing genius around. I have to say you're really thorough, young man. Well, ever since I met Julian, and he told me the family was full of the best and brightest, I have to test that theory. Be careful. That's the only true thing you might ever hear him say. Why do you say that? Uh, no, no reason. Don't don't even worry about it. Um, is that everything you wanted to know? Is there anything else? So, you pretty much left that in for dirt. And you left your business and everything behind it. Why? Okay. Um, unfortunately, sometimes... Life gets a little more complicated than we know, and I just have to take a step back. That was all. Yeah, but I read an article that you were the best at the marketing department. Look, I'm just really passionate about what I do, okay? Shouldn't you be playing video games or something fun like that? You know, I really hate that just because I'm a kid, everybody thinks that I shouldn't want to learn about the family business. JJ, you're asking me all these questions because you want to join the family business? Yes. I just want to know if I can learn anything I could from you when it came to marketing and event planning. You might want to slow your roll, okay? How old are you, JJ? 16. 16! Okay, look. You don't have to be in a rush to know everything. Life doesn't work like that. Everybody says that. What's wrong with learning something every now and then, huh? What's the big deal? Okay, you're right, it's not a big deal. But if you want me to help you, I'm not ready to cultivate the next asshole in Davenport. So all I'm saying to you is, take your time, okay? You don't need to rush. Did you know that your dad actually got a a write-up in the Wall Street Journal? Why don't you try to talk to him? Yeah, yeah, I know, I already read about that. And he's not the easiest person to talk to about family business. About anything, really. (laughs) Look, JJ, focus on what's going on in front of you, okay? If you want something to Google like you Googled me, why don't you Google more about marketing? I'll start with the four P's of marketing, okay? You better be writing this down. Product, price, place, promotion. Once again, product, price, place, and promotion. Google those and come back to me when you know everything about the four P's. Promotion. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Got it. I just gave you some really valuable information. I think you need to be a little more grateful. I am. Thanks. I'll do it what I got. You're welcome, Boo. You're welcome. Um, okay. Just, look, right now, your job is to get good grades, okay? I know this family is really successful. We pride ourselves on all of that, but your job is your school. Nobody in this family failed at school. Nobody in this family was stupid about school, okay? A A little crazy about everything else. 
but never stupid. Take your time. Okay, I will. Thanks. Okay. By the way, you're really straightforward, and you're cool. Thank you, JJ. I will take that as a compliment. Um, just remember, enjoy being 16, okay? You got time. I'll try. All right. Let me get back to work, okay? All right. All right. I'll see you. All right. Bye. So, um, we need to talk. I don't know, Dad. I've, I've got these two papers I gotta do. I've been working on them for these past two days. It's not gonna take long, and I'm sure you're doing other things in between that. So, just calm down. Listen. So, what is this about? I wanted to let you know that I spoke to your mother. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, it means that she let me know that she is working on herself and that she wants to be more involved in your life. And I want you to know that I am fully supporting her in that. What about what I want? All you guys are so busy running around trying to be the best parent, trying to get the best parents award, but nobody ever takes account about what I might feel. Look, JJ, that's not fair. Look. All we are trying to do is make sure you have what you need. I said what I want. Look, calm your ass down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dad. Look, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I want you to hear me out when I say this, okay? Can you just listen to me? All right. I'll just accept it. Go ahead. Dad, you asked me what happened when I used to live with those people. And I'm still not 100% comfortable telling you that story. The thing is, I always felt alone. And I would ask around for my mom and nobody could ever help me out. But didn't she explain to you that she was forcibly taken away? Yeah, but nobody's telling me why. Why did Victor even have me in the first place? He gave me to this freaking lady, and he act like he never even knew who I was. Then after that, she gave me to her brother. I don't understand, and it's beyond me, but my mother has still not told me the truth about what really happened. Look, I just want you to know none of that it's your fault, okay? When it comes to my mother, I don't know what to believe. She may seem like she wants to be involved in my life, yes. But she may also be trying to just take me away like she's always done. Look, your mother and I are going to explain everything to you, okay? I'm tired of all this pretending. You guys want me to be this obedient little son, right? But you guys don't take a thought about what I've been through. That's not true. Yes, it is. In fact... Nobody's keeping it a hundred but Aunt Fallon. She's been able to fill in some blanks. Oh, has she? <laughs> yes, she has. And you know something else? Maybe I don't want to be around my mother at all. You know why? I don't trust her. Look, nobody is trying to force you to do anything you don't want to do, all right? I've been in this freaking dorm forever. This is the first time I actually have a house with a bedroom, my own room to myself, since I was a little kid. I don't want all that taken away from me. JJ, your mother and I just want to protect you, okay? And she just wants a chance to rebuild a relationship with you. You know, even Aunt Fallon agrees with uh, me. Regardless of what Fallon has told you, you are all your mother has, okay? You know? She said she was staying in some crazy house. She looked like she was actually struggling. Tell me, where would I even stay? Well, that's enough. I'm going to do my best to get everyone on the same page, all right? So when she gets here, I need to just make her feel comfortable and try to hear her out, all right? That's it. That's all I ask. Hear her out? You don't know my mom like you think you do. 
so you can keep trying, but it's never going to last. <clears throat> well, hello. Speak. Hi. You look good. Stand up, let me see you. So nice to see you. Thank you so much. Jay. Well, please, thank you for coming over. Thanks. Thank you for inviting me. Where is your husband? Will he not be joining us? No, he is actually out of town visiting his sister. I figured it'd be best to just have us three here. We could sit, eat, and talk. Yeah, good idea. So, how have you been? How is school? Girlfriend? Social life? Like, how have you been? Talk to me. Oh, all that's fine. Thank you for dinner. I needed it. It's something that I really, really enjoy spending time with you guys. Don't mention it. Uh, did you want some dessert? Um, no. Okay, dessert? I think some good. Okay. So I asked you a question. How is school? School is school. Jay, what's your social life like? Do you have a girlfriend? No and no. No, he, he's actually being quite modest. All right, He's doing really well in school. He's actually about to finish up driver's ed, get his really? license. In my car? Uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> but yes, he's doing good in school. Congratulations. So he get his intellectualism from you. Yeah. But you know your looks not for me, right? <laughs> Thanks for that comment. I'm gonna, no. I'm gonna stop this here. Don't be rude, okay? This conversation's going nowhere. I'm tired of all the fake stuff. You know what? Excuse yourself. I think I'll be excused. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm sorry for all that. He's just gonna have to, you know, ease into this. I'm gonna take some time to warm up, all right? I don't wanna hear it. That's not true. That's him. He made that choice to act like that. Look, just don't be discouraged, all right? Just give us some time. I try my best. Good. She's gone. Finally. Really? You know she left here really defeated. It was very rude to her. She's trying. Look, take it from me. Just try to make up with her, okay? Especially if she's trying to be genuine. I guess I'll try. You know what's crazy? Mason the other day told me that his lawyer tried to kiss him the other day. I mean, can you believe that? His lawyer. I mean, those guys are supposed to be professional. Mason shut it down. But still, I want that man fired. <laughs> I mean, so you believe that? Believe what? That his lawyer tried to kiss him and he didn't kiss him back. Of course I do. He didn't have to tell me. He was just trying to be honest with me. Okay. Kind of makes me feel guilty, but I think he's just been really, really communicative. We've resolved a lot of our past issues. He's been telling me how much he loves me. Again, super guilty, but it's kind of sweet. <laughs> so you mean to tell me? Mean ass Mason. Evil ass, mean ass Mason. 
is being nice. All right. Well, I'm not gonna let you demonize Mason either. I mean, he's a little abrasive, you know, in his demeanor. But to be honest, that's kind of one of the things I like most about him. Everyone respects him, and if they don't, he demands it. It's admirable. I mean, don't you think that's kind of fishy? Though? All of a sudden? Not even a little bit? No. I mean, don't get me wrong, he is not a bad guy, you know? But he's a different flavor. Yes. Oh, yeah. And what okay. flavor are you? I do not have a chocolate. Alright, enough about Mason. I'm not even talking about Derek here. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, who are they? Yeah, who are they? I'm gonna take this over. We need a guy to take it to the bedroom store right here. Yeah. <sighs> Mom, I invited you over here so we can talk. You know, a real talk. So, this talking of yours, I hope it does not consist of you being rude, no disrespect towards me. Because today, <laughs> I just ain't got the energy. Jay, I'm still your mother. Okay. I'm sorry I talked to you like that before. But actually, the reason I wanted you here was to apologize. Apologize? How much of an input does your father have in this I apologize? He doesn't have control over what I do or say. So, that's... Look, I wanted to say sorry <clears throat> for being disrespectful to you and... It's just that you, you're right. You are my mother. But do you have any idea how many sleepless nights I've had? Or wake up crying thinking I would never see you again? So, do you think you are the only one who has sleepless nights? Do you think you are the only one that, that couldn't stop crying? Let me tell you a little bit about what I was going through. It was seconds, minutes, hours, days that all I can do is cry and think of you. I spent so many days mad at you. I just felt like you left me. Then why would you leave me with Victor? Leave you with Victor? Yes. Where did you get that from? What? I didn't leave you with Victor. You... Jay, you do not know what you're talking about. Then explain it to me. Victor? That family, they made life really hard for me. Extremely hard. You have no idea. You were the only reason that I kept going. You have no idea what they did. Jay, it's just for you to allow me to be your mother. And I want to. Look. But it was a but after that. No, I just want you to know that I have a mind of my own now. 
I'm not easily manipulated by anyone. How old are you again? How old are you? It was a question. I'm 16. Exactly. Okay. It's not you. It's not you. It's them people. It's them I don't trust. And you do not know them. Mom, I need you to trust me. Can you just do that? To do what? To do is to be a mother. And being a mother. Leaving you to these wolves, you're asking, you're asking for a hard thing for me to do. I just need you to be there. That's it. Okay. And being there, like, as in being at the always, and not leaving me behind. I won't. I didn't. And I would never leave you behind. Promise me. You're my only mother. What I really like about us. I really like our connection. Really? What else you like about it? Well, I like that we're just kind of in our own bubble. <laughs> it's just you and I. Mm. That is until somebody bursts it. <laughs> Let me tell you something else. Yeah. I'm the type of guy that will do any, any everything for somebody that he cares about. And you're one of those people. I hope I really want this romance. This passion for so long, and I feel like I'm finally getting it with you. You got me. My favorite boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good to see you. You too. Wow. You have had so many things going on. Yes, a lot. Baby. Mm -hmm. That chat with situation. Um, it's yes. okay, babe. We're just talking. Wasn't mm -hmm. that almost like something out of a soap opera? Yes, it was very crazy. And I'm really just trying to get past it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I understand. If you ever need to talk, you know I'm here for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, let's uh, have you meet someone then while you're here. Wow. Uh, JJ. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Right. <laughs> um, so, JJ, this is my aunt Stacy. Aunt Stacy, this is my son JJ. Well, hello, young man. How Hi. are you? Oh, how are you? Good to meet you. Nice I'm to meet you fine. too. What's up, cuz? What up, what up? 
<laughs> Nothing much. So, what's the occasion? Well, I just came for a little surprise visit, you know, it's one of my favorite nephews. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, so you must be my grandfather's sister then? Yes, I am. He has quite the fascination with my father. That's oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, that and the Davenport business. Mm. Well, quite inquisitive young man that we had. That's right. <laughs> so wait, the thing is with my grandfather is I never really got to meet him, you know, and I just don't know much about him. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, he was a complicated but very good man. Sounds like him. And I sure could share lots of memories and different things with you. Pictures? I have pictures. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So do you have any time? Absolutely. Why don't you really? join me in the kitchen? Okay. Come on. <laughs> we'll be back later. <laughs> okay. That went better than it went with me. Uh, a lot. She has charm, bro. Uh, you know, I do feel kind of sad that my father can't get to see him. You know, the son or the child he always wanted me to have. Yeah. But, you know, we're here now. You know you can always do with him what you didn't achieve with your own dad. Right? That is right. That's what I'm trying to do. We all. Look at you with feelings. Oh, I like it. We should do more of that. <laughs> oh, this is faster than I expected. You got my check. No, we're still working on that, but this is actually about you um, hiring a lawyer for your company. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't really appreciate that. Look, I know we have our beef, but I think you need to keep her out of it, okay? I don't know what you're up to, but keep her out of it. You're such a narcissist. I hired a Laura because she's talented. She's business oriented and she knows what she's doing. She already made it perfectly clear that she's not getting involved in any of our squabble. You know, it's so crazy. Somehow, some way, we have to come to a realization that we have to coexist in this world. Yeah, you may be right about that. <sighs> Look, I'm honestly willing to forego everything that happened in the past. As long as moving forward is full transparency. And I think it'll be better for Brandon. Yeah, I can agree on that, oddly enough. Um, so, it's something to think about. Yeah. Now, three things that we actually agree upon. <sighs> baby steps. Yeah, baby steps. Well, I guess I'll return when you have my check. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>